Hi, this is Ashley back with another video, and this is going to be about what's really going on with Normani. Now, um, I was going to wait until she actually dropped some music, but we don't even know when that could be, okay? Um, it seems like Chloe Bailey going to be releasing music before she does. Hopefully, you know, she drops music soon. I've been hearing that she's been working a lot on music. So hopefully she drops some music soon. So let's start off with this. When Normani first announced that she was going solo, okay? She told people inside the industry before, beforehand, people in the industry think that Normani is extremely talented. That's why they originally wanted her to replace Beyonce. OK, she was getting all the Beyonce comparisons and people were telling Beyonce, oh, you got to check out Normani. You got to check out Normani. OK, people um, were telling Beyonce and Beyonce was like, oh, damn, like, you know, they want to push me out quick because this happened in 2017 around that time. She hadn't even officially left fifth harmony but people were telling beyonce oh you know you gotta check out normani she's extremely talented she can dance she can sing blah 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 so you know beyonce trying to do business with normani okay you know she was getting um you know backing from a lot of popular people like Ariana Grande co-signed her and Nicki Minaj. Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj both co-signed Normani. And Ariana Grande brought her on tour. So, you know, prior to Normani going solo, Beyonce does Parkwood Entertainment. And, you know, she signs Chloe and Holly. Through that time in 2016, they were trying to get rid of Beyonce. Um, she had get, gotten a lot of hate for her stance with the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, she had pissed off a lot of uh, quote unquote Caucasian people. And, you know, Beyonce is getting older. So they were looking to really get rid of her. Okay. And. She didn't have an idea of who, but she wanted it to be Normani. But, she, you know, Normani took a deal somewhere else, but she was going to let Beyonce mentor her. So last year, Chloe and Beyonce start talking about her going solo. OK, because Holly wants to do more in acting. She loves music, too, but she wants to do more in acting. So with Chloe, they told her that she had to change her um, image slightly, not like do what she do now, but they want her to be an individual and kind of stand out. So because Beyonce wants to push Chloe Bailey, uh, you know, the industry is behind her with that. Um, she feels like Chloe Bailey reminds her of her younger self somewhat. Not everything is the same, but she feels like she has more in common with Chloe. You know, Chloe, they feel like has a higher range vocally. Okay, that's what they be saying, not me. And, um, you know, she's signed to Parkwood Entertainment. Okay, she's not really Beyonce's not gonna be making money off no money. She makes money off of everything Chloe Bailey does. On top of that, Chloe um played a younger version of Beyonce when you know they did that film like what in 2000, what five or something like that. I forgot when the film came out, but she played a younger Beyonce. And Beyonce kind of feels like Chloe with um you know some image change and you know some training she can really embody me somewhat maybe not to the full degree okay because i don't think she'll have like 20 30 years in the game 
But Beyonce feels like there's a lot of similarities with Chloe, and she doesn't feel like her and Normani really had a lot in common. She just thought that she was talented. She thinks Normani is talented, but she don't feel like vocally we're not the same. You know, she just has good stage presence, okay? Um, and because Normani hasn't been consistent with putting out music, the direction they want to go in now is with Chloe Bailey because she's ready and she does whatever they ask. When they tell her to do something, she does it. Okay. Um, and let's not act. I can't deny it. Um, the industry is prejudiced against darker skinned women. Okay. They're not going to be as patient. Okay. When it comes to you being able to make your craft. Okay. When they say drop. You need to drop. When they say, oh, you need to be doing this, they want you to do it. And when it comes to Normani, she hasn't been consistent musically, and she is dark skinned. Okay? The industry does prefer lighter skinned women. And I can give you a plethora of examples Seven Streeter, Kelly Rowland. Uh, they all should be bigger than what they are now. Jasmine Sullivan, Kelly Rowling for years has been trying to get the push in the industry that she wanted, like Beyonce. But they didn't really want to fully push Kelly Rowling. Okay? They didn't want to push Kelly Rowling. They wanted to push Beyonce, Ashanti, everybody else except Kelly. And Kelly got hits. Okay, they did the same thing with Seven Street, or even though that was potentially Chris Brown's fault because she fell out with Chris Brown. And so he was telling people not to really work with her, but they back cool now. But with that being said, the industry does prefer lighter skinned women. That's why Cardi and Dolce Cat can go mainstream. Megan is kind of struggling with going mainstream. Okay, because she's dark skinned. If she did not have the push from Camel Face, her career would not be where it is now. That's what's keeping Megan is the push she's getting from Rock Nation. Okay? Now, Normani is on the same uh, management. Okay? She has a deal with Rock Nation. Here's her picture on the Rock Nation um, website. But they're only focused on Megan. Okay? The only one really popping on Rock Nation right now that's a new artist or a newer artist is Megan. Meek Mill, what's, what's Meek Mill doing? Okay. Mariah done left. Okay. Um, who else? Where's Tanaje? Let's not even get into Tanaje, who's very talented. She's also on Rock Nation. Okay. Jaden Smith is on Rock Nation. I don't really hear nothing from him. So they really only focus in on Megan for whatever reason. You know, I guess that's their cash cow. Now, Megan is talented. Don't get me wrong. But I just find it weird that they're only focusing on her. But with that being said, that is also hindering her career. And let me tell you something about Tanaje. Tanaje was supposed to be Rihanna's replacement. But she ain't got no hits. Now, she got a lot of good songs. I'm a huge Tanaje fan, but you got to chart. That's what they consider a hit nowadays. It can't just be a good song. It has to chart on Billboard. You have to get the plaques, you know. And after 2 on 1, you know, she had a few songs with Chris Brown. Her and Chris Brown low-key fell out too. But, you know, she hasn't had any hits recently that have been charting like that. So that's what's going on with them. They wanted Rihanna and Drake to kind of be gatekeepers. But, you know, we all know what happened between Rihanna and Drake. And now they're trying to make Rihanna and ASAP, you know, gatekeepers. Mostly due to Rihanna's status, not necessarily ASAP Rocky. Because they don't really benefit from ASAP Rocky right now. Okay, and musically, he's not selling what he used to. Okay, but they trying to have them kind of replace the Carters when the Carters are no longer in the industry. 
okay? And then on top of that, you know, Rihanna don't want to put out no music. So they're really searching for her replacement now. Just to let you know, originally it was Rita Ora, but you know, she got blacklisted. And then, you know, they were like, oh, let's give Tanaji a chance. She ain't got no hits. So they trying to find somebody else. I'm hearing they trying to push Sweetie, but Sweetie not really doing it for them musically like that. Because a lot of people don't think that she's talented. So they're still searching. But that's what they wanted Nikki to do also. They wanted Nikki to choose her replacement. But Nikki did not want to do that. She didn't want to be forced out. Okay, because once they say they want you out and you don't move, they'll force you out. Okay, and so Beyonce is just gonna gladly leave, okay, or not be the most popping chick, and she's gonna make money off of Chloe. But this kind of hinders Normani's career, okay, because now they don't want to push her, and also. Normani does feel some type of way about them pushing Chloe because they was comparing her to Beyonce. So now they comparing Chloe to Beyonce, which nobody can really replace Beyonce because Beyonce is just on another level. But Normani does feel some type of way. Now she's not upset at Chloe, she's upset at the people behind the scenes now pushing uh Chloe and not pushing her. And she's like, why can't we both succeed? Even the Columbia CEO was shouting out Chloe Bailey. And a lot of people, a lot of peers in the industry can't really say anything negative about Chloe. Okay, because she's getting backing by the Carters. That's why a lot of peers don't really say anything negative about Megan, even though they don't believe her. Um, they can't say anything negative about Megan and Chloe Bailey because they're getting backing by the Carters, okay? So I might do a part two, I might not. But anyway, I just wanna put that tea out for you guys. I was gonna wait, but Normani, when is you releasing music? It's just, it's getting tiring at this point. Just let the music speak for itself. Don't let these people hold you back. Just put out music and let the music speak for itself, just like Seven Streeter is doing and Jasmine Sullivan with little to no backing. Just put out the music and people going to rock with you. I'm a support. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video.